Hello, my name is Prairie Chiash. I'm sitting here with Sadie Hicks. The date is December 9th, 2019, and we are recording this interview in Chicago, Illinois. Um, so when and where were you born? Um, I was born in Wisconsin Rapids, Wisconsin, on April 12th, 1995, to Julie Hickson and Jeffrey Hicks. Um, where did you grow up and what was it like? Um, growing up, I resided in Nacusa, Wisconsin, Wisconsin Rapids, Wisconsin, uh, eventually Plainfield, Wisconsin, and then back to Wisconsin Rapids, currently in Marshfield, Wisconsin. Growing up, I was blessed with three sisters. Mom had all girls, lucky her. <laughs> um, my parents divorced when I was three or four years old and four or five years old when she, my mother, Julie, met Jim, which is Prairie's dad. Um, Jim was, Jim is, like a father figure to me, my dad has been pretty absent my whole life. Um, a lot of mental health issues and drug abuse. So I'm, I'm very grateful to have Jim. Um. Yeah, you know, I feel like a lot of bouncing around, but... <laughs> yeah. Um, so do you want to tell me about your siblings growing up? Sure. So I have an older sister. She's 26. Her name is Kailara. And then there's me. I'm 24. I have Prairie. She's 15. And we have a little sister named Eliana. She's five. We all have different dads. We share the same mom. I feel as if Harry and I are the most similar and I'm closest with Prairie out of all of my siblings. Yay. Um, I don't know what else you want me to say. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't well, that was good, but um, what was your best childhood memory? Mm -hmm. I spent a lot of time with my with my grandparents. I my, two. Um, my my grandma Yvonne, which is our mom Julie's mom, and Grandpa John. They were married my entire childhood, and I found myself more drawn to my grandma Yvonne. Whereas my older sister, Kailana, spent more time with my grandpa, John. Um, and then I spent a lot of time as well with my grandma, Brenda, whom is my, my dad's mom. She passed away in 2016 from cancer. I, I remember spending a lot of time and doing arts and crafts and learning instruments and shooting archery and... As far as I can recall, I have a lot of, you know, fond memories, but I don't think my childhood was was very easy. I had to grow up fast, and I don't feel like I I lived as an adolescent should have. Um, how honest do you want me to be? <laughs> as honest as you want to be. So... When I was a teenager, I started to party a lot, started drinking, and um, became fairly rebellious and disrespectful towards my mom and Jim, and um, eventually it led me down a, a dark road of using drugs myself, but there, through a lot of experience and trials and tribulations, something that I can overcome and 
I've overcame and something I need to work at every day. I don't know how far I should get into it. I don't know if you have other questions. <laughs> Honestly, so. it's you can get as far into it as you want, so Yeah, okay. Um I got, you know, from a teenager into my early I always by the time I was able to have a job, you know, I maintained a job. I think feeling that sense of direction and responsibility is what encouraged me to do that. When I was 18, I became pregnant with my first son. His name is Cade. He was adopted at 20 months old um, due to my, my drug use. My aunt and uncle adopted him. That was difficult, but I get to have a relationship with him today by the choice of staying clean and being being a healthy individual for him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um. So, if what was your reaction? or your thoughts when you first found out you were pregnant with Cade? Well, I was, when I found out I was pregnant with Cade, I was very scared. Um, just out of high school, which I, I barely graduated because I was more concerned with, with getting drunk and hanging out with the wrong crowd. So I, I wasn't focused on academics to the extent that I, I should have been. Um, I was scared, I was nervous, I didn't have a clue in the world what to do. I was in a very abusive relationship with his dad, um, and I was, I was manipulated, and what I wanted was a family of my own. Um, growing up, I didn't really feel like I had that with with my biological parent. Yeah. Um, can you describe the moment when you first saw him? I was so nervous. He looked like an alien prairie. <laughs> <laughs> I was so, like, shocked and scared, and I remember I, you know, you see in movies all the time when the baby's born and put on the mother's chest and tears from the mother. I didn't feel that. Um, I think about that a lot today. And I don't know why I didn't feel that. I knew I loved him. I love him. But I just, I don't know, unfortunately. I didn't know how to be a parent at that time. Yeah. Um, what was it like when you had your second son? <laughs> well, that was a different story. So I have a, a son named Riot. He was born on the 27th of March, 2018. He's a little spitfire, blonde hair, blue eyes, looks just like me when I was little. Um, you know, thankfully... I, with Riot's dad, um, a, a much more healthier and stable relationship. And mentally, I feel like I was in a better place when I had Riot. Um, it, was, it was tears of joy. And I felt blessed to have the opportunity to, to be gifted with another child to raise raise a child and give him the life that he deserves. Um, when I found out I was pregnant with him, though, I was very, very horrified of being judged by, by my family members due to the fact that I did lose my first son from my actions, but it's, it's okay. You know, it's just part of who I am and 
He's such a gift. He's such a blessing, and he's he's so spunky and he's so fun. <laughs> <laughs> um, how has being a parent changed you? Oh gosh, for the better. A lot of um trial and error with being a parent. You know, there's there's not a handbook of how to be a parent. Um. It's, it's with choices and experiences that I learn how to be a parent. It's it's hard work. It's tough. It's not all rainbows every day. Some days I cry because I don't know what to do, but it's awesome to, to have so much unconditional love for someone and to feel that in return from from my child. Yeah. Um, what are your dreams for your children? My dreams for my children are to feel truly loved and wanted by the ones that that matter and mean most to them. Um, I don't want my child, my children, to ever feel like they're unwanted or unloved. Um, I feel like every individual in this world is so special and unique, and I want Riot to grasp that and follow his his dreams and be smart and set goals. I want Riot to feel like he he belongs in this world. All too often I see see people struggle with that. Yeah. Um What are some important lessons that you have learned in life? I'm not always right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm far from always being right. And it's, it's really humbling when you, like when I got to that point of acknowledging that I, I'm not always right. Mm -hmm. And that's okay today. Um, I was very resentful throughout life because if I was wrong, I felt like nobody cared about me or valued my opinion. Um, I've learned that not everybody in life you come across is is going to put in the effort that you do in a relationship, and that's okay as long as you can differentiate. Is it worth your time and your efforts? You know, a relationship is a two-way street. Mm. And I, I had to learn that the hard way as well. Mm -hmm. I've had a lot of, a lot of lessons in life. <laughs> well, you become a lot stronger because of it. Mm-hmm. My, my sister P-Dog has been a very, very good support. Prairie, I am so grateful for you. You've never given up on me. And you've you've always been here and encouraged me to pick myself up when I fall. My heart. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I got a. I think. Yeah, I got about three more questions. So if you're still good. Yep. Uh, what? has been the happiest moment of your life? The happiest moment of my life. Hmm. Becoming a mother. Definitely. Uh, but also making the decision to, to get clean, to decide that I didn't want to use drugs anymore. Um, it's been... It's been such a privilege to have, 
to have all these relationships that I care so deeply about, you know, come back into my life and that I can be honest today with with you, Prairie. Mm-hmm. Um, hmm? uh, that being said, leading into what are you most proud of? What am I most proud of? <laughs> <laughs> I am proud of oh gosh. <laughs> Anytime I, I can make a decision fearlessly and and it be validated by by how I truly feel. I, I guess um, I'm really proud of myself that I can set boundaries today. <laughs> but yeah, be, getting clean and being a mother to my my child is definitely something to be proud of. Snarf. Snarf. See ya. How would you like to be remembered? I would like to be remembered by my generosity. Um, I feel like I'm very friendly and caring, and I want people to remember me by my obnoxious and fun self. (laughs) Um, I want... I want people to think about me and be proud that that I was, you know, once a part of their life and hopefully someone, anybody that I come across in life can learn something from me or from my experiences. Yeah. Well, I can definitely say you've got, you've got that down. You will definitely be remembered like that. Uh, is there anything we didn't talk about that you would like to add? Um, put on the spot. I just hope, you know, I remember being 15 years old and thinking I knew everything and had the world in my hands and that was really just just the start of figuring out who I was, who I wasn't, who I wanted to be. Um, I just, I hope you and your friends, your classmates, can all live their lives to the best of their potential and take it seriously because you never know when, when you'll be gone. Uh, well, thank you for your time, and thank you for sharing your story. And You're welcome. I hope we have a good rest of your day. You as well. I love you. I love you too. Yeah.